Uh, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope everybody had a great night. Uh, let's get started. We got four new decks here. Let's see what the messages are. Libra messages, Spirit, what do you want to reveal today to Libra? What does Libra need to see nor hear for their higher good? Libra messages. Beginnings. New beginnings. Change. Libra messages, please. Growth. Well, that's a nice change. You're having some growth. Coming out of the darkness here. Taking action. Well, resilience. That's a wounded warrior here. Learning to love self again. Expect the unexpected. Something may have happened unexpectedly. It's like keep your focus. Stay focused. Use your discernment in some issue here. And uh, know that free will is here. People have free will. I don't know. Somebody is like hungering for sovereignty. This is truth. This is justice. And... It, Nourishing yourself. Balance. Be getting your balance back. Using discernment. Self-love. Abundance. You get abundance from doing all of this. Patience. You've had to have patience. And taking time out to self-reflect. You know, like, is this for real? Is this for me? What do I want here? surrendering you've been through the extreme something very extreme you're being uh watched you have some sort of attraction here somebody is realizing something there's a higher power involved there is pleasure here and acceptance have faith because you're on a new beginning those are your messages libra oh Let's pull a few more oracles here for Libra. What does Libra need to see nor hear today for their higher good? Somebody is getting a realization. Just have faith because you've been through the extremes. And keep faith. Have patience because you're getting a new beginning and it's abundant. And it's going to nourish your soul. Mm -hmm. Earth magic. Just being still. Taking a time to reflect on things. Be still. Ooh. There's a promise here. A new moon bringing in promise. Mm -hmm. It's like taking an eagle with communion. This is like getting in contact with your spirit guides, spirit speaking to you, releasing something. Well, it unfolds a beautiful lotus flower in full bloom. So things, yeah, it's all about reflection, self-reflection, looking back. Yeah, shape-shifting here. It's like shaping you. It's like all the extremes you've gone through has shaped you into something very, very beautiful. Something very, very powerful. So just stay patient. Solitude is here. That's why we go through solitude to do reflection. Seeing things, learning uh, gifts of discernment, wisdom, patience, all those things. Take a breath. There is going to be forward movement. It's like you're going to be submerged. <laughs> and it could be that you were feeling like you were submerged. That you couldn't make any movements. But that is changing. And it's like something in sanctuary is being activated here. And learning to be vulnerable again. 
What about Libra? You're on a new beginning. Something new. By you taking the time out to self-reflect, be in isolation, go through all these extremes that you've been through. It's only like forged you into a new individual. It's like it's painful, it's enduring, but it it changes you. It's like shape-shifting. It changes who you are, turns transforms you in looks like into something very beautiful and abundant because a lot of gifts have activated something in you so it's like taking sanctuary a shelter from the storm activated something in you so focusing in on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self or of others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessings and in solitude and self-reflection, we get to see what the blessings actually were. And in this case, it is abundance, it is nourishing, it's discernment, it's changing you it's forging you into who you are meant to be there is shelter from the storm what it did it's activated something in you something very powerful something is blossoming yeah and it's like someone around you didn't see what they had they were unwilling to be vulnerable unwilling to do the work period and that's when you got creative do what you love recognition for the highest quality of work especially creative endeavors being paid well for your craft working well with others and the excellent reputation that's what you forged right there well taking the next steps bold and ambitious choices partnering with others who share your dreams expanding your plans and continue to move forward so it's almost as if you're being forged activating you when you were doing your isolation or your soul work or self-reflection in isolation it like released something really creative in you and it's now like you're working with others yeah new experiences now uh, sensitive open-hearted in like inexperienced moody messages regarding relationships emotional experiences or romantic encounters social invitations or events heightened psychic abilities so this is like the page of cups it's like stepping in learning your craft it's like a new experience increasing your psychic abilities what this is doing is it's like I'm just saying that something is being activated in you and it looks as though it's learning a new craft, perhaps. Yeah, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, optimistic. Now is the time to take action to do what you're passionate about. It did. It activated something in you. It learned you something. It was like forging you in steel. You know what I mean? The wheel, yeah. A fresh new start or an end of delays. A sudden unexpected progress. A very positive change in your life. Travel or a new vehicle. So this is all designed here. Planning for the long term. Abundance from past choices. Pride in your success of your labors. Be patient. You decide what's next. The need to move on. Seeking a more, more from life than what you were experiencing. A spiritual quest. 
choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, leaving home. Some of you are just stepping out into new adventures. This is bringing you in abundance. This is trying new things. It's bringing you success, victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, or scholarships. And it's like <laughs> working too hard on mul or multiple jobs. The need to bring balance and fun back into your life. Juggling multiple priorities. Balancing a budget. You're going to be very victorious, whatever this is. Look at you go. A windfall, an abundance, a wise counsel or good fortune. An exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract. Significant purchase like a new home or vehicle. Wow, look at you go now. Yeah, balance and the magician. Hello. Blending of ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. And the magician. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest if you believe you can do it. It is a great manifestation period for you. And it's abundance, 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 abundance. New homes, new cars, new businesses, new ventures, new people, new experiences. It's all brand new beginnings. Uh-huh. And I can tell you that there is some masculine energy that was resistant to change. And so you had to do it. And what it's doing is bringing you in peace. And you're filled the void with fruition. Well, this person couldn't get out of their fear. Just saying. It's like all everything that was hidden in the void... The blessings that were in the shadows, the blessings that you didn't see, are bringing you in this fruition. The lovers. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's working for you. The lovers this year could be new love. It could just be the love of what you're doing. It could, it's moving in fast. I'm just saying. Decisive, focused, driven. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional, sudden, or unexpected change. Review your options carefully. Don't rush in. Mm, well, yeah. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship. Hidden but well-intended emotions. A charitable benefactor. I gotta see, see this. This is someone who is honorable, okay? Might not be overly emotional. This could be this new lover. This could be someone who is well-intended, very loving, very caring. You could be that energy. Wise counsel. Just saying. Someone you can trust. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious. Someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship and with the lovers here this is new love coming into fruition and it's also businesses careers it's some of you could be in the role of being a counselor i'm just gonna say mm -hmm. release endings that lead to new beginnings the need to release situations or people that hold you back spiritual transformation and the dreamer is here. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside. And take a leap of faith. 
because whatever you're doing is going to bring you in abundance everything is coming into fruition peace discernment all these gifts this knowledge uh, what all of it trust the universe because it's looking as though your dreams are coming true take care beautiful libras